Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's The William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. Grant, was that sweater a Cyber Monday deal? <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> He's like, how did you know? That's what Danny and I were talking about. We were curious if that was a Cyber Monday deal. I didn't get no Cyber Monday shit. Did you browse around? Yeah, definitely browsed around. <clears throat> I just... Nothing to you. I just didn't commit to anything. I mean, you know, a little yeah. lightweight shit, but I ain't, I ain't get on. <laughs> mm-hmm. I still don't even know what I'm going to get my girl for Christmas. <laughs> Fuck. What? I look very big today. Look at me on the fucking screen. I look uh-huh. really large. Good evening, Mike's gentlemen. Been on yet. You don't know what you're going to get her? Do you have any kind of idea? Fuck, no. What is she? What's something she likes you could get her? Chihuahuas. She, that's what I'm saying. We already got, I know... No yeah, dog, chihuahuas. Danny. We got no. The, she. They have uh, the cutest hairless chihuahua. We got a six month. It's. What do you mean? It's terrorizing my I life. I love it. Get her a it's dog. Like having she a baby. What do you mean? We got a one. We got a six a month puppy. old. Could you imagine having two? Fuck no. Hey, William. Yeah. Just slide a little closer to Danny. Because when your head myself. goes over to the we other can't side, hear anything. you block. Uh... Oh wait, can you guys hear me? Not me. I, I hear him. Not it. I hear, I hear you. you. Can you hear me? Uh, no. Nope. I hear you, Casey. Okay, I see what it is. One moment. One. <laughs> one. Yeah, why'd you say one moment? Two. Now Casey can't hear you. I hear. I can hear. <laughs> <laughs> there you all go. Happy Cyber Trick Monday. <laughs> Happy Cyber Monday. Happy Cyber Monday. Did you all used to cyber on AOL? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> you did? <laughs> Aim what? Especially when the um, sidekicks. What was your screen name? With the sidekicks. What was the sidekick? The one you would flip open? Yeah, that shit was, it was going down. <laughs> was that Nokia? I don't uh, remember. Uh, T-Mobile, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, T-Mobile. T-Mobile. It was T-Mobile. T-Mobile. You would put A A dash. Because that's what it really. That was the messaging service on that. Was Aim. I mean, you can text normal, but the everybody. What was your screen name? Do you remember? It had to be Danny Brown something. Yeah, Danny Brown. Something. Yeah, it had to be some type of way I did Danny Brown. Maybe Danny Brown 313. I feel yeah. like <laughs> that would have been an area code time. <laughs> Casey, what was your, did you have a screen name? Were you on AOL? No, I I think I was too young for AOL. My mom used to have those Nextel phones that yeah, were. Uh, chirp. Yeah, she had to chirp them. <laughs> and she had a... That was drug dealer phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that really was, selling dope. Like, oh, yeah. Chirp, chirp. Quick, direct. Yeah, she had a boyfriend. Chirp, over here. <laughs> yeah, what is it? Like a walkie talkie? It was a walkie talkie. Like yeah. You put every, yeah. I mean, you know, you get on the chirp. I mean, it was pretty much like yeah. um, I message. I guess, I mean, you know, you had your, y'all had to exchange chirps. It was long ass <laughs> numbers too, like star. Oh, it was. Star of one million. Your mom something. was chirping <laughs> her boyfriend? Yeah, she had a boyfriend named Bobby Ray, and she'd be like sitting there talking to me, and he'd be like, it'd be like, Hey, like, yeah. Jenny. <laughs> Jenny, you want to meet me That's before Brady? That's what the thing about it, too, was. I forgot about that part. You couldn't. It wasn't like you had to answer. A motherfucker no. could just hit the button and talk. And it's, and it's coming through. And it's coming yeah. through. Yeah. <laughs> like, I see you with the you. bitches. Like, it couldn't <laughs> I'm going to have dinner at Beef O'Brady's. I'm like, fuck oh, it. <laughs> we used to eat a lot of Beef O'Brady's. What is that? Is that like a <laughs> Applebee's or what is Beef O'Brady? Yeah, it's kind of like an Apple Applebee's. But, what city is this? Uh, it's in Georgia, oh. North Georgia, like Gainesville. Mm. But yeah, it's Beef O'Brady. Like a chicken <laughs> nugget, chicken nugget <laughs> dinner every day. Pretty sweet. Ooh, that's a. What would you dip it on? Uh, just a that's little good. bit of ketchup. That's good. Yeah, that's some some white boy shit. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> ketchup on chicken nuggets. I'm just happy to have the chicken nugget. <laughs> What is your favorite? What if Danny, if you could have a last meal, if you were gonna, if we were all gonna go up to space or something, and we didn't know if we were coming back, and they were gonna give us all a last meal, what would you eat? Um, I mean, uh, yeah, I, um, 
fried chicken gizzards and livers. Ooh. Um, mm. Rice with gravy. What, um, that brown or white gravy? You need that crispy brown, man. Yeah, I love the <laughs> you know, you know, that, that, that. Not that thick shit either. You know, it got to be a little. Yeah, it can be too thick. Yeah, sometimes. beef O'Brady's. There that's, it is. That's an Irish, Irish <laughs> bar type of deal. <laughs> They'd walk in there, and, and Bobby'd be drinking uh, Coors Light and playing Golden Tea. <laughs> Just with this <laughs> chirping thing yeah. going off constantly. Jenny, come meet me for a quick lunch. <laughs> <laughs> playing quick fucking lunch. Golden Tea. Very cool. Yeah, that's fire. I always saw people playing it. I never knew how to play. You would just have there was like the ball in the middle of the mm-hmm. thing. Yeah, that's same. Roll it same but I was right always there. um I've tried it a few times, but um <laughs> it's one of those things it? you gotta have in your house. Like you gotta be able to yeah. play that shit a lot. Like that motherfuckers <laughs> go to that you gotta think of nigga he go to B for babies every Friday night. <laughs> yeah. He looking forward to playing his friends and fucking golden tees type of shit like that. Yeah, and he's getting good. <laughs> he's getting good. It's been like five months. He's been practicing. He's ready on those Friday nights. Fuck golden tea. Yeah, you can't half-ass it. Can't it's a lifestyle. That and the fucking what's the um the, the rifle game, the fucking um the, the hunting big game. Buck the, hunter. Yeah, big buck <laughs> hunter. Yeah, big buck hunter. Big buck hunter and fucking um <laughs> golden tea can't be more racist. <laughs> <laughs> like if that's the only two games, then you got no blitz. You ain't got no NFL blitz in here. <laughs> niggas can't be in here. <laughs> I love that on the N sixty four, and you can change their heads to look like different stuff for their bodies. NFL blitz. I love that, that I used shit. to skip school every day to play that shit. That shit for, <laughs> for real. We had this arcade, Roscoe's Arcade. I would skip school every day and go fucking play NFL Blitz. Who's your team? Uh, um, I mean, I probably, I think I was playing with the Lions because I'm from Detroit. So I was oh, playing yeah, with the yeah. Lions. Like, I wasn't like a, I'm, I'm a hometown boy. I Like, right now, I just played a fucking, I was like, let me play one more game before I leave out of here. What but, were you playing? I mean, NBA 2K. You know I'm a real nigga. For real. <laughs> oh, nice. Are you pretty good? <laughs> I mean, I've been playing since it exists. I've been playing for 23 years at this point. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Are you more like of a layup guy? Are decent. you more of a layup guy? Are you good at the deep shot? What kind of shots are you in? No, at? it's way more technical than that. It's it's okay. very simulated. I think the best thing about me, if um, I could say anything about me in my NBA 2K game, is just the fact that um, I, I know every team. So I know every fucking weaknesses. I know tendencies. I know every. So I'm playing every game. Like I'm, I'm just like I'm a good at. I'm good at coaching. You're playing I know the tenaciously. Plays. Yeah, I know the plays. I'm very conservatively. You know what I'm saying? But like, being a hometown boy and a fan of the Pistons, I'm playing with the Pistons right now and got my ass whooped before I came out. I, I was <laughs> like, fuck it, I'm gonna try one. Got How is John play. Stockton? Is he still on the Pistons? John Stockton never was on the Pistons. He's on huh? the Utah Jazz. He hasn't Grant, played since... why did you fucking tell me before we walked in here <laughs> he that John Stockton like... was on the Pistons? Uh-huh. I asked Grant about basketball players for the Pistons, John's... hoping this would come up. Why did you tell me John Stockton, Grant? No, he's Utah Jazz. He hasn't played since, like, definitely, like, mid to late 90s. I remember them on NBA Jam, him and Carl Malone. <laughs> That's the last basketball game I played was NBA Jam. You know Carl Malone's a... Predator. What do you mean? He had a baby by a 14 year old. When? <laughs> when he was in the NBA. <laughs> when he was in the NBA. And he neglected it. I mean, he told the motherfucker, fuck that. I ain't taking care of that baby. Fuck you. Blah, Where's... blah, blah. Whatever, Ooh. bitch. Ain't no child support. Fuck you. Yeah, bitch. But then guess what? <laughs> this kid <laughs> grows kid. up and now he's in the NFL. Oh, really? Yes. What's this, the kid's it's a name? movie. I'm, it's Google Peyton Manning. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It got to be something <laughs> alone. It got to be something alone, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's Eli Manning. Manning. <laughs> but yeah, that's crazy though that his son ended up growing up. But I think he eventually started paying child support, but it was like the cheapest fucking child support. Like it was something. Are that... they close? Do you think they talk? No, at yeah. All? Now he said they got a relationship together and all that shit. Well, but it's the good. fact that and it's crazy. NBA Two K. Well, that was Two K Twenty One. But NBA Two K. <laughs> uh, they did it for only like a week. They they you can do these you know created players. I mean, you have my career, which is pretty much the metaverse version of the fucking NBA, where you Yo. create a player. And you know you can put yourself. Does on he any... look like you? Yeah, you can do a face scan with your phone. And it'll oh, put are your you face serious? So yeah. it looks just like you. Yeah, yeah. That's but exciting. no, I don't. I don't never do the face scans. You don't. I mean, I used to do it, but I. I mean, because it takes too long. If if sometimes if you're not in a good light, that should have pull up a more fast looking glitchy <laughs> ass face. <laughs> 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 then you gotta keep redoing it and keep redoing it. So I don't get to the so it's to the point I've done that shit for years. I don't do that shit no no. But they have um what they call replica builds where you can create an NBA player. And if you create an NBA player that's like close to a 
a, a, a legend or like a famous NBA player play style, it'd be like, you got a replica build. So if you build a Karl Malone replica build, they called you the Predator. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because of that old shit. But I only did it for like a week. I talked about it on my podcast. The next thing I know, as soon as I said it, they changed it and they switched it back to they switched it to the male man. <laughs> Somebody was messing with them. But I seen that shit. I know that wasn't no fucking um simulation, nigga. Yeah. I mean, you did a crime alone bill, they was calling you a predator. <laughs> I knew what it was off rip. It's funny. Are we recording? Yeah, Grant, is this no, we're not yet. Oh, I think it's shit. Oh, should I record? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I guess well, start. No, you got to start. You got to. Yeah, man. We're I can't ready believe. whenever you are. Just, just waiting on y'all. Right. Oh, yeah. No, we've can't. been we've been recording. <laughs> Don't fuck with us right now, dude. <laughs> oh, okay. Very I, sorry, Danny. I swear to God, Grant, he creeps us out. He's sometimes. a trickster. What the That's fuck? A little trick <laughs> Not creep. I'm Grant. kidding, Grant. <laughs> Jesus. Grant, I'm you born kidding. and raised in Austin. Nah, I no got... one's from Austin. Nah. Well, nah, I know you're right. No one's from Austin. When you do meet somebody from Austin, though, they be. They be having this like um, um like gatekeeping. Like they be like, man, what where you from? Where you from? Like you like, come <laughs> on, man. I just you know. I mean, I know you deal with this all the time. You should you know. But yeah, every time, every now and then, I get in an Uber or something. They be like a born and raised Austin motherfucker. Like these motherfuckers is move. They keep moving here. And then you tell uh, them I'm not from here. No, they hate. They don't. They know you're not from oh. here. It's like they can smell you. <laughs> <laughs> and they adjust their eye patches. Sometimes they, they have eye patches. They'll be like, what? They yeah, like from here, what? And they'll do the eye patch on the other eye. I got to so go right weird. eye on this motherfucker. I couldn't imagine being born and raised in Austin, like just living here and like, I ain't gonna lie, the schools look cool. Yeah, though. what would you fuck? Every now and then I would drive past a school. I'd be like, that school looks pretty cool. Like, my schools didn't look like that. Mm-mm. My yeah. shit looked like fucking uh, warehouses. <laughs> <laughs> my shit looked like they build cars in it. <laughs> oh, really? Hell yeah. My shit looked like uh, Chernobyl bombs or some shit. Did you ever have any good teachers? Did you ever have teachers that you liked? Yeah, my teachers is the reason that um, I had a, a shout out to the Jews. I had a Jewish <laughs> teacher, Miss Capen. I had a Jewish teacher, Miss Capen, in my fifth grade. Um, yeah. I rapped one time. And any given situation that she can put me in to make me rap, I will, you know, she would put me in it and make me rap. Yeah. I rapped at my fifth grade graduation. Love oh, it. Oh, really? Because Miss Kathan, like, Danny, you know, like, I was like normal <laughs> shit. Any, like, school program, That's Danny cool. got to rap. When was the first time you did? It was in her classroom? Or she heard you? I think I pretty much, I mean, at this point, I think fifth grade, because um, the first time I rapped in front of a class was in kindergarten. So I think by fifth grade, I was like always rapping. Like I already knew I had it. So it, it, it yeah, could be yeah. a time where I'd be like, you know how you join a new class, you're the new kid in class. I wouldn't be acting all cool and shit. I'd just be normal. Because I know any given time, one day I'm going to have to rap. And everybody yeah. going to be like, oh, shit. You played it cool. Yeah, so I would just be cool. Because you're like, I, I can rap. Tripping, you know, yeah. like the first beginning of a few weeks of school in a new class. You're like, none of these like, kids know. Like, all y'all are going to like me. Just trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a Do few you months. remember any of those raps from no, kindergarten? No, I said yeah, all yeah. like freestyle. <laughs> yeah, I think they're good. Rap wasn't that as technical. We talking like late 80s, early 90s. Rap wasn't that as technical as it is today. So you yeah. can just be like. Fucking, you know, just rapping normal ass shit. Any Love predictable it. ass bar. Just the fact that you can keep a fucking um, rhythm and had cadence and yeah. I guess a lot a lot a lot of it comes to probably the voice too. I think I always probably kinda had a cool voice when I rap. Because I will always exaggerate it more so than how I actually talk. Yeah, you yeah, sound yeah. different, don't you, when you rap. Yeah, it's like <laughs> I know, man. Danny, yeah, the first time I met your ass, it was at one of the Kill Tony things. I was starstruck. I was like, oh, my God, Danny Brown. Because, yeah, I had been listening to you for a while, and then Erica really got me into your ass. Yeah, oh, it was tight, tight. It was so interesting meeting you. Oh, shit. But, yeah, man, I'm um, fucking... But, yeah, that... I mean, it comes out when I talk to you. It <laughs> there happens. it is. So it's not like a fake thing <laughs> that I do. It's your voice. Yeah, it's not like a fake thing. But like I say, when I'm over-exaggerating something, and rapping is all about fucking over exaggerating <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Like, it's overrate uh my personality all that shit you make i mean that's i feel like that's what makes the best rappers people that can make any the normalest most boring as shit sounds like <laughs> it's the illest most lavish time you ever had right. in your fucking life dude. <laughs> <laughs> niggas just be talking about getting high with their homies you'd be like oh shit this shit sounds dangerous or it would be grant <laughs> vomiting over his family grant threw Airbnb. up all over the at place the Airbnb. at the Airbnb yeah, I, this is more <laughs> his I daughter didn't... slipped in all this barf yeah. was disgusting he'd rap about that probably what <laughs> yeah grant what <sighs> uh, my daughter barfed not me 
Oh, I How old it, is your daughter? Seven. Oh, okay. <sighs> How's yeah, she doing? Y'all made it seem like she was drunk or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just drunk thinking, daughter. Like, she was. Like, this nigga getting drunk with his daughter. <laughs> she was That's really crazy. drunk. Like, my daughter, 21, I still won't drink with her ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she see me drunk all the time, but you better not be drunk. I'm going to trip you down the stairs. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tell you to go downstairs and get her. Yeah. For real. So my, my daughter get drunk with me, I'ma just trip her. Oh, yeah. Wake up with a black eye, all type of shit. She's like, I ain't drinking no more. Yeah. yeah. So, so really think about it. For real. Like man, every time I drink, I just wake up fucked. Good women don't play by facial features. You should think about that grant when she turns twenty one. Just start just tripping. Start tripping, her. Start start tripping, tripping her. her, dude. Get drunk. Just, yeah, get, drunk. get her ass drunk, start tripping her I ass. Just trip her. It's I, not yeah. that fun, is it? Bye-bye. It's not it's not that's not that's not child abuse. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little trip. Skill building. And they start practicing. I mean, once she get drunk and she be able to jump over that motherfucker, you she ready to drive. <laughs> yeah, she's ready to get in that car and start. She's earned she's her ready to drive now. <laughs> Casey, what would you if you were the robot voice of the car and the girl got in there? What would you say? You would have to try to stop her. You would. Have you ever heard Casey's robot voice? Oh, you can do it. I, I do this great secret robot voice that only a couple people know about. So if she drunk, could she get in the car? Or yeah, just whatever. Yeah, you're the Tesla just... telling her don't do this. Okay, so I'm the Tesla, and I yeah. go, I go. Door closed. So the door is <laughs> door's closed. Whoa, it's gotten even better. <laughs> oh my door God. Closed. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm just setting the scene. So door closed, and I go, ignition on. <laughs> and, she, and, she, and she's drunk. She's going, I don't know about all this. Ooh, I don't feel so good. And, uh, and then I go, gas pedal gone. So <laughs> gas pedal gone. <laughs> Boom. Goes into the floor. Bye bye. Good luck driving now. Uh, then it go, friggin' damn. National Guard called. <laughs> National Guard. <laughs> go, go in. The whole goddamn National Guard. Yeah, you can't start that car then for sure with the National Guard. Good luck. You're going to be swarming the place. Good luck. And then I go. <laughs> <laughs> Ejector seat. What? <laughs> 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 oh, no. Bye, dude. Have fun, <laughs> Have fun in the stratosphere. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, it's a super powerful Brutal. ejector seat. Got brute. Brutal. <laughs> man, we one step from that, from AI freaking out and just doing crazy shit to motherfuckers, man. When do you yeah. think that's going to happen? I totally agree. I don't know. It's probably not in our lifetime. I know. I agree. I mean, I, I think, think, about I think that. we. it's going it to be like sucky little bullshit <clears throat> for a long ass time with it. Like, but at even some with, like, point, it's going to get crazy. I think at some point, it could get crazy. I, I feel know. like 30, 40 years. Yeah. Well, we'll still be around then, Danny. I hope so. Come on. Yeah, yeah we're still going to be around. We'll be able to see the AI take over. If Look I'm at that. 80, if I'm 80, I'm going to be in pain. <laughs> you don't uh, know that. Look, I'm going to be in pain. That's Grant. <laughs> Did you know that? He's a stunt guy. The guy back there. <laughs> that's oh. Grant. Grant, <laughs> quit putting your pictures on here, Danny. He got a show. He got a, he got a what stunt. What movie is that? <laughs> That's his normal Saturday. That's what I do on a Saturday. Backdraft? <laughs> what is that? Sisterhood of the Trap. That was his <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, is that Sisterhood of the Trap? <laughs> that was his Thanksgiving. <laughs> that was yeah. his Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing your your daughter vomiting, and then you just like, I'm out of here. Okay. I'm not cleaning that shit up again, bitch. I'm out of here. I hit the ejector seat. Yeah. Oh, because I, I even feel like that. Like even that shit. Like we so far off. Like remember, like watching Back to the Future. We thought we'd be like by now. We'll have like hoverboards and all that kind of shit. Like yeah, this this like this so far up. You, do you know how dangerous that is to fucking fly that? <laughs> like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Nah, also, you get you know what I'm saying? Flames and shit coming out your ass. Like, yeah, you where are you <laughs> landing? This shit is dangerous. Just fucking, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, where are you landing? I'm picturing like a big oh, bush, the, hopefully a big bush or something. Your ankle. If you're, yeah, you're, you're gonna roll your shit. Yeah. <laughs> you land <laughs> on this? He did when land you it. land from this, you for sure rolling your ankles. You gotta tape yeah, your shit up. Sure. You gotta tape your shit up like you about to play an NFL game just to fucking ride a motherfucking. All right, man. Yeah, I remember being a little boy and we had this little car thing and I wrote it. There was a little hill and I wrote it down and both of my legs got trapped under. And then when I got up, both of my knees were bleeding real bad. That's oh, one thing I don't play with. Brutal. Fucking fire, man. Brutal. Nah. Yeah. No, I ain't gonna, um, you know me and my um, my video game playing, man. Um, 
I love simulators. Oh was that VR? No, I mean they do have them in VR, but I don't play them in VR. I, I see. There's like a goat simulator. Sometimes yeah, goat I lo- simulator. Like, what up. even is that? Tractor? Raising goats. My oh, favorite, my favorite, goats. my favorite one that I think is the most <laughs> relaxing and the most soothing video game, like for adults, like motherfuckers that been playing video games since Atari and shit like that. What? Power Wash Simulator. For some reason, that game is so fucking what is relaxed. It? It's Power, power Wash Simulator. Do you know that one? Like you oh, own, really? yeah. oh, own your own fucking power, power wash company. That sounds wonderful. People, people hire you to fucking power wash shit, and you pull up, and you just power wash shit, and you get scored. <laughs> Because it'd be like dirt and shit. Like it might be a dirt oh. under the chair. You ain't get that. And you'd be like, damn, yeah. you be looking around like, why this board not complete? I didn't complete this board. It's because you ain't get that little dirt under the chair. You got to go find that, spray that. But yeah. I, I'm always that talking about Power Simulator. But I played a new simulator. Yes, there you go. I love that Is shit. that it? Yeah, that's it. Can you choose your name of like the company? I don't think so. I it just, just comes with something. No, you just get hired so. to Power Yeah, I don't even yeah. think it's all that, that much. Cause, but yesterday I tried... um. Firefighter simulator. <laughs> what are you putting out fires? Yeah, like houses and shit be on fire. And I'm thinking Ooh. like, you know, it's going to be cool or whatever. It's like, no, nah. nah. you go into these houses <laughs> and shit on fire, it get intense. Your heart be beating fast. Like, man, it's like life or death situations in this motherfucker. You got to carry motherfuckers out. Yeah, there people in. This, yeah. this shit, I started, nigga, this shit, this, this is why. This shit scares me. I ain't gonna lie, man. This game fucking kind of scared me, man. You recommend? Damn. Um, yeah, would you recommend? Maybe I was looking I, for a new video game. Definitely for I... motherfuckers that can play Call of Duty and blow motherfucking heads off and brains and shit. I don't yeah. really be playing games like that. But dog, Ooh, I swear, man, fire. you go into some of these what fires. What about the pets? And it's kids in a house and pets, yeah. Ooh. You got to save shit and you got to be like, man, it's life or death. Yeah. They're going to die. Yeah. Oh, you got to call the ambulance and do all that. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know Look if at I'm, that house fire. Know you would hope people back. aren't in that one. I don't one. know if I'm coming back. I'm like, man, Power Watch <laughs> Simulator was wholesome content. This yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. This shit, man, this shit, this shit fucking with my anxiety, man. But if, but it kind of made me want to be good at it. Like, damn, if I'm coming through putting fires out, I'm saving lives. Yeah. They need me on the leaderboard. You know what I'm saying? I need to get my achievements on this shit. Do you yeah, ever play yeah. any phone games like balloons? Fuck no. <laughs> no what do you mean games. fuck though why aren't you playing games on your phone i play real games i mean um phone games man um you don't like phone games um <laughs> <laughs> struck a chord <laughs> no i was just thinking like no i never liked any phone i don't think i ever liked any mobile game. oh shit snapchat Snake? snapchat is a mobile game. that was the first one anything that's what, the first snack? anything that was the first is always gonna be because you was trying it out you like Shit, if you ask me, ain't nothing beat Snake. Oh, you ever play Brick trash. Breaker? Doodle Jump. Doodle, Doodle Jump. Jump. Doodle Jump. All that shit is be trash. I swear I never got into uh, any mobile games. Like Angry Birds, I feel like probably I get I get the appeal of Angry Birds. What is it? You're trying mm-hmm. to knock stuff over? You I know what really they should do, up. man? I, do they have a mobile game for Dope Wars? I don't you know. I remember, you remember playing the old that. school Dope Wars on the first like PC. I remember playing that on my TI eighty three calculator. Yeah. People were able to put games on the calculator somehow. You played Dope Wars on there? I dope think Wars we played have, Dope I see, Wars. I played Dope that. Wars as a mobile. Uh, dope Wars have to be a mobile game. It has to. Yeah, it looks like it is. Yeah, and part two. Why? Why not Hotline <laughs> Miami? Like I play that shit on my phone. That should be an easy <laughs> game to make. What's a Hotline mobile? Miami? <laughs> Hotline Miami is amazing. The Hotline what Miami should be a movie. Yeah. Um, for real, it's just actually the story. That's one thing I think the appeal of me with certain video games I get. Like it, it doesn't have to be that great of a video game, but I'm actually so drawn into the story that I want to like I don't watch movies. I don't no. watch fucking you know what I'm saying? So that's like my that's have like you ever my seen Hellraiser. No. Ooh, I know we've what talked it is. about it before. Yeah, I, it's scary. Yeah. I creepy. know what it is, but I never watch Hellraiser. Yep. Bro, I swear to God, I never watch Bro, I don't watch creepy. no movies. Yeah. I okay, watch so- so recommend some video games for William. He has the PS5. He's always oh, looking wait, for new games. Hold on. Games. You know what I've been playing? Mm-hmm. And I can't get enough of it. But it's all it. about what type of games you like. Your style of your Hotline Miami. I've been playing Hot Shot. It's a PlayStation 2 game. It's a tennis game. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Hot Shots. Um... <laughs> oh, I love Hot Shots. I've been playing it a bunch. I was playing it earlier today. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a game that you would probably... I think you would like Hotline Miami. To be I'll honest, have you played Cuphead? Cuphead, no. Oh, I think you'll like Cuphead. I play Ghost of Tsushima. Everybody loves Cuphead. Your girl will love Cuphead. Cuphead. Oh, Ghost of, oh, Ghost of Sh- I, I, I have been playing that since they put I it on. I love that one. He since likes they put the it on Last of Us. Last of Us. 
Yeah, I played The Last of Us. Did I you like those. that story? You said you like stories. That was a riveting. I just story. don't give a fuck about zombie shit. Mm. Yeah, that's kind of. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't give a fuck about that kind of shit. This Hotline Miami story is. I mean, I don't go. But I think you should probably Do check this one. out. The thing is about Hotline this game Miami. is it's extremely hard. You're gonna die. <laughs> but the point of dying is that's the point of it. You're gonna die a thousand times. So when you finally finish a level, you're like, oh, you feel so rewarded because <laughs> you die three thousand times trying to play this. Because it's it's a real game in some sense. Like it's a shooter. It's a shooting. Oh, it, it, it's like the old school Third Grand Theft Auto. Or first it's like the old school Grand Theft Auto. If, uh, it's overhead. Oh yeah, I remember. And you go into these rooms, you busting in these rooms, you got to kill all these niggas. But if you get shot <laughs> one time, you dead. Like real life. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you come through, but you get you eventually get good because you got so many, you know, you got a lot of shit. You coming through like John Wick. You got a lot of shit in your arsenal. You come through, boom, boom, kill this nigga, boom, stump this nigga. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can come through and just terrorize a whole room. And as you know, it's the more you get into the game because you get these. See, the story is this nigga wake up. They made this nigga be. I don't want to go. I don't want to go into that. Ooh. But he has these masks. He has to wear these, and you get upgraded by wearing these masks. Are the masks cool looking? They're they're different animals. You get a horse cool. mask, a pig mask, wow. and as the the mask upgrade, he gets these different powers, and she can come through, clear a room like any. But it is hard to clear a room. Hang on, like even a first. I haven't played Highline Miami in some years. Maybe I used to play it on Vita, PlayStation Vita. Rest in Vita peace. is straight mm, up a under. What is that? It ain't dead. What you mean? You can still. <laughs> I know. I was kidding. You can throw some <laughs> emulators on that bitch. You get what I'm saying? Even the old school, if, if motherfuckers want to be real, I was so lit with it. You get the old school PlayStation TV and get a Vita and you motherfucking, you know, you, you cast to that shit. Bro, hotel room turn up. Hotel, hotel room, room turn up. That's what Grant says a the lot. The funniest shit is um, <laughs> now, if anybody, um, which I think is actually great that Google is, is doing right. Google are doing right. Um, The Stadia, y'all motherfuckers remember the Stadia had came out. I bought, is that the stuff you put in... A drink like instead of sugar, yeah, that's stevia. Oh, no. stadia, <laughs> stadia was a um, it was a I think I think it was Google maybe whatever whatever yeah. one of these motherfucking companies they created this um cloud streaming video game service, which sounds great in hindsight. Which all mm. all all like Xbox, PlayStation, all of them have it. You know, stream. I mean, you know, streaming video games, but they created their own shit for themselves. It didn't do as good. They created a lot of product for it. Different controllers, different all type of shit. But the thing is, I'm look at that controller. Yeah, this stadia. Yeah, so all you needed was that, and you can take this. Like that was the whole appeal oh. of it. I can take this controller around. Just all I need is my controller. And I can go to any hotel room, whatever. I got my one little. It had like a USB stick, like a Roku type of situation. I can pull up anywhere, connect it to the Wi-Fi. I can play any game in my cloud. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. Great, Great in hindsight. Quit putting pictures of your fucking hands on there. Great in man. hindsight. It didn't really work out for him. Maybe it's just too early. You know what I'm saying? This type of shit gonna work out like ten, five to ten years. This is gonna be yeah. the norm. Look at Grant's thumb. He's got short thumb. But I'm telling you, what they did good. What they did good is that they're refunding everybody. So everything that I bought in Stadia, all my games, and they all refunded the shit, you. They you gave me refund. all my money back because the product failed. They, they, uh, and I'm like, damn, I ain't never seen no fucking company do no shit like that. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I, I spent about at least over five hundred dollars. They gave me all my money back. So shouts out Stadia, Shout man. Shout out. Stadia. Thank you. Get Not a- to be confused with Stevia. Yeah, Stevia. I fucks with Stevia. You like Stevia? Who um, did they put that on? I mean, it's Coke, just that... Coke Zero? I don't have any. No, they got those, yeah. um, the, the Zevia, the sodas. You don't fuck with those? Mm-hmm. The, um, the non-sugar sodas that with this, um... The thing is about those shits is all those, like, non-sugar sodas and... You just... Yeah. That shit, it's only good if it's, like, ridiculously cold. Like you gotta I'm, have it cold. Like I'm the type yeah. of motherfucker that I, I I know I don't post to drink soda. Like I hate soda. Like I hate because that's one thing that it just it's really ruins my life and it fucking ruins what, my sodas? shit. What sodas? Yeah. What's your favorite kind? Like a Coca Cola Coke, Coke. or a Pepsi? My mom. You my like mom, cherry Coke. I think my mom probably put Coke in my bottle. <laughs> yeah, I mean any Coke. Coke is Coke. Yeah. Any flavor. I don't try them all. But what I would do. <laughs> Cause I know what I'm supposed to drink them. So when I get um when I do my groceries or whatever, I, I you know I, I fuck with the Coke Zeros. But I've the thing is, the thing about the Coke Zeros, they got to be ridiculously cold. So what I would do is I buy a real case. I buy a real case of Coke, and I buy like two cases of Coke Zeros, and I let those two cases of Coke Zeros sit in the refrigerator for at least like five days for open. <laughs> and I drink five on these days. real Cokes, and I drink on these real Cokes so I get to the point where I start feeling sad for myself. Because after a while, they start getting too sugary. You start drinking too much Coke. If you drink Coke every day, like having one every week, having one on the weekends, 
you like. There's nothing wrong with that. One it on the weekend. Amazing. Yeah, one on the weekend. One on the weekend. Amazing. With some fajitas. A <laughs> glass some white bottle. Cheese Whatever you're choosing. Whatever you're Woo. choosing. You know me. I'm, I'm, I'm on some nigga shit. I need some wings. <laughs> you What's your favorite wing? Have you found a wing place around here that you like? Have you had Tommy want I wingy? I think Texas, just Texas in general, like Pluckers is amazing. We love yeah, Pluckers. Love Shout out to What's Pluckers. Tommy want wingy? Yeah. I know it's you a said food truck. Shit. And it's, it's lollipop <laughs> wings where they tear off the bottom part yeah. so it's all meat Being on top. Being all fancy uh, and shit. That's Tommy good. That's good. Tommy 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 and that's Chris Snapping. Farley on the thing. Oh, I know how to right. eat. I mean, I, know, I do real chicken. I'm, you know what I'm saying? We do love pluckers, though. But, love um, pluckers. Yeah. Love the air fryer. We'll put some chicken wings in the air fryer. You ever do that? Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, I love the air fryer. Of course. It's wonderful um, for those chicken wings. Um, But for your yeah, first chicken wings. <laughs> I haven't really found, like, a hood spot. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, pluckers. Big shouts out to Pluckers. Pluckers have been, um, yeah, saving grace. And it's actually good. I always talk shit about, like, motherfuckers, like, Uber Eats. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, you order everything come, like, fucking county jail food. <laughs> like, and I'm always worried somebody's going to be nibbling at your food. That shit just come lukewarm. I'm tired yeah. of eating lukewarm <laughs> food, man. I got to boycott Uber Eats, man. I want my shit hot. The so box be... is open. Like, I'm not in jail no more. I'm not in jail no more. <laughs> but but pluckers like so I would get pluckers on Uber Eats a lot and it was yeah it's good it's, it is what it is because one yeah. thing about chicken like if you don't eat it you can, like you got an air fryer you can put it back in the air fryer that shit coming back mm -hmm. coming back crispy coming back better than it came <laughs> you know what I'm saying you put the re rock so y'all have an air fryer I was trying to think of Christmas gifts because we needed to think of maybe a gift certificate I would need a new air fryer to be honest I got a cheap air fryer but now that I realized to, um. You know how, how 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 much it changes your life. I need to get the most expensive air fryer that exists. I need the most high tech air fryer. I need one. That... Get that for your lady, maybe for Christmas. No, she. No, that's what I said too. I thought to myself like, whatever I buy my girl for Christmas, it's got to be something that's going to benefit me. Just as get well. her another <laughs> dog, Danny. You know, you what I'm know y'all's current no, dog. We're not getting no dog. You know your current <laughs> dog wants a friend, bro. All right, man. Go Danny, to, your I, current dog, dog wants a friend. I think that would be a wonderful dog. Christmas. My dog present. has her own Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Does she? Yeah, you should. Um, and then you change your whole mind. It's like a hairless chihuahua. What, what's her Instagram? Ditto, Ditto Deuce. Ditto. Deuce. She's really cute. Is that her name? I love her. That's my. But she's just a baby, so I never had, she's a I, menace. I will say this. This is what I will say. I what? never had. I've I've had a lot of pets growing up in my life. I had snakes. I have. So oh many, really? I've had. Cr I didn't tell you. You never heard this story. No. What? Okay, my dad. Um. We never heard. <laughs> It's the holiday season. It's, it's Christmas the time. Season. It's the holiday season. It's Christmas time. It's time for, to really be trimming. You got to keep it trim, trim the tree. And for God's sakes, it's not a happy holiday until you have happy, clean balls. Yeah, trim the tree. Trim the tree. Leave the presents for the in-laws. Leave Thank the you. presents behind. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, but yeah, you can do that with Manscaped. You can trim your tree. You can shave your trunks. Shave your trunks? <laughs> mm -hmm. That sounds weird, but you can totally Good. shave your trunks. You actually could shave your trunks. If you wanted to. So that to. actually wasn't, yeah, I mean, you can shave. I, you shouldn't, but you could. Well, well, it's Christmas again, and the science is finally here to shave your trunks. <laughs> yeah, the science is here. You can shave your trunks. Literally, it's a new technology. It's skin safe technology from the lawn from a damn lawnmower 4.0. Yeah, it's skin safe. Yep. Mm -hmm. Seriously. And it helps with trimming all kinds of stuff. And you can get twenty per <laughs> you get twenty percent off with code WMS if you get that on Manscaped. Okay. The lawnmower four point Six words. Lawnmower 4.0. <clears throat> Ambersand. Weed whacker nose and ear hair trimmer. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> the weed whacker for lawnmower 4.0. Code WMS 20% off. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Manscaped. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. so my dad was a drug dealer. 
Yeah. And he had drug dealing friends. One of his drug dealing friends was so much of one of those type of drug dealers. He had all type of exotic ass animals <laughs> and all type of crazy ass shit. I'm talking about snakes, lizards, fucking piranhas, all type of eel fish, red doubles. You ever heard of red double fish? What's a big, red it's devil? It's a big fish. ass red fish. It's like a piranha, but it's a big ass red. But they fuck shit up. <laughs> like you don't 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 stick your finger in a tank type shit. So and this uh, is a drug deal, like a kind of bigger so up I think, drug dealer. So what happened was I think my 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 dad drug dealing friend went to jail, and as my dad trying to be a real nigga was like, I'm gonna hold your piss down till you get out. <laughs> 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 now my dad, he had me at 16. Yeah. By the time he was 21, he had four kids. So, you know, he's not in his right mind. They go red doubles right there. Wait, is that really the red devil fish? Yes. They look pretty goofy. We done had like 10, of them, like 10 of them in a the tank. All type of piranhas. Evil. All right. You got a big old forehead. <laughs> big dumb Do they dumb. have big teeth? Nigga, they got par- nigga, <laughs> sharp looking ass oh. teeth, man. Like fucking. So, um, yeah, he's almost a silly look at like he'd be a silly kind of fish. I mean, that's cool. <laughs> Having a fish is cool. But the, but the most, the biggest deal was he had a fucking fully grown python snake. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> named Jake. Jake the Jake Snake. Jake the Snake. That's so, a good name. Jake. I mean, I was in the fourth grade. I remember I was in the fourth, so that mean my brothers we'd like stair steps. So my brother was in the third. I had another brother in the second grade. All of a sudden, but the only good, the only good benefit of having Jake the Snake move in with us, yeah, was that we lived around a lot of fast food restaurants. Like literally in the vicinity of not. I'm talking about walking. I'm talking about I can go across the street. It was a KFC. If I walk across the street from the KFC, it was a Little Caesars. <laughs> If I walked next door Ooh. to the Little Caesars, it was a Coney Island. If I walked next door to the Coney Island, it was a Burger King. Mm-hmm. So that sounds great in hindsight. Good little corn and it dogs. was, and it was, and it was way a... more restaurants than that. I lived off Grash. It was a lot of way more restaurants than that, fast food restaurants. But but that means my neighborhood was a had it was rat infested. So we had a real like rodent problem. So <laughs> we had all these like before Jake moved in, we had mice like crazy. Uh huh. And, and every Jake was eating good when he got there. I thought you were gonna say but he liked know, fast food but no, or they something. Know, the you know, thing the was, they knew Jake was in there, so they ain't even fuck with that. You get what I'm saying? We yeah, like yeah. every house on the block had a mice rat problem. So but, you just get a snake in there, and then eventually. But this nigga, man, um, only one wasn't scared of him was my little, my youngest brother. He didn't really scare him. My mom was scared of Jake. My Were mom, you? my mom was a bird lady. I didn't really. I'm, I'm gonna say this. <laughs> I wouldn't want to get bit by a I don't snake think or they I wrap around you. Scared. I don't scary. think I was too scared of Jake because I knew how cool he made me in the neighborhood. Because <laughs> if I would pull Jake out and pull him on the front porch, all the kids would be like, oh, my God. Isn't they got a... So then I go to school. <laughs> so then when I go to school, all the kids would treat me. You get what I'm saying? Stay. So I seen the status that Jake gave me in the streets. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so I was yeah. like, man, as scared as I was of Jake, I was like, this a this nigga's the street. He's yeah. the truth, though. Like he making you know what I'm saying. He made yeah. me popular in school, kind of. Could know? you carry him? Yeah, but yeah. You can put him around here, wrap around you, do all type of shit. Uh. He was nice, man. I mean, he was cool because he, you know what it was. He was old. Oh. That's oh, what I think was. it was. He wasn't that young. Like if he was a young, active snake. He probably would have. He probably would have bodied somebody. <laughs> <laughs> somebody would have put him around. You would have put him somewhere around somebody's neck, and he would. But he was strong. See, there. that was the thing about him because we everybody was scared of him. We had him in his little cage. He would sneak out his cage, and there's nothing worse than. You We're wake up snake. in the fucking morning, nine in the morning, you wake up and it's a fucking, I'm talking about he was long as his room. And you wake up and there's a fucking python snake in your fucking room. You're like, ah! And my mom's scared of yeah. me. <laughs> Nigga might be in your bed, all type of shit. And you wake up to that. So it, I think it did give me some PTSD. <laughs> yeah. It did. And we had all these, and he killed, he killed all, the, my mom, she had birds. My mom was like a bird lady. And he yeah. killed the birds? I think not necessarily even killing them. They was killing themselves being so scared of. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stressed just out. Jake is yeah. in here again. Yeah. This nigga be trying to kill them every night. They was breaking their own necks, just doing dumb yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah. For real, uh-huh. no bullshit. <laughs> Jake so, yeah. is in here. God. So, yeah, that did that did some that did something to me. So, yeah. Um... <laughs> so, don't get a snake. Maybe. Don't get a snake and for even a that, present, uh, maybe. One time we got gifted a Rockwiler. As a gift? Yeah. Was that a good gift? Was a it real a... full breed. Like, it was, you know, because most motherfuckers go rock, they get mutts and shit like that. And I'm talking, we had a real official rock. Well, I, I named it Loca. It's a good one. Because I was like, it's going to be some gangster, like Mexican Loka. shit. Like, it's going to be some. I used and to love four I, locos. I trained the shit out of Loca, though. Like, <laughs> on some gangster shit, though. I'm talking about, like, I made Loca be that, you know, that one dog in the hood that 
that motherfucker just keep coming out. Like, like if we go, if we go visit yeah. my grandma for the weekend, the whole family gone. <laughs> Loka might just jump out the backyard, like it terrorize the whole hood for the weekend, shit like that. Yeah, that's just how Loka look. So that, yeah, these motherfuckers. Rest in peace to my cousin Grace's. She had a Rottweiler that just died this past week. But next door to me, these motherfuckers had a um in the hood. They always have these the makeshift um auto. The, these the, the one nigga in the hood that fix all the cars. Yeah. So yeah. these niggas the that fix cars and shit all day. But so they always bringing random niggas back into the backyard next to where uh -huh. Loka is at. So Loka was always jumping over the fence, terrorizing niggas that they uh, make shit. <laughs> Would Loka auto. bite people? She ain't bit nobody that I know of, but she will That's run up. That's good because that could have been bad. <laughs> They hit her with some transmission fluid. Oof. Killed her. Nuh uh. Yeah. That'll they do it. They poison loca. Oh, oh, really? Man. Mm hmm. <laughs> Damn. Yikes. We were watching, uh, what is the show? The British Bake Off. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching Holiday Bake Off, though, now. It's Holiday Bake Off. Is that the what one they with doing? Jesse holiday Palmer's tree? The I mean, host? yeah, it's just holiday shit going down. I don't know, these motherfuckers be crafty, man. These gingerbread houses is next level shit. Yeah. Jesse Palmer is the host. Is that of... the one where Jesse Palmer's the host from the Gators? The football player? Yeah. He's the host of he, everything. He He's hosts, the host of oh, The Bachelorette. He hosts a holiday baking show, but I don't know which one. No, no. Um, yeah, I've been watching Holiday Baking Show. I've been fucking with that. That's what I watch, man. That's, um, <laughs> that's fucked up now, man. That um, like I remember growing all the channels that I grew up with as a kid, like the Learning Channel, TLC. It's now totally different. That's I'm, from it's when it's Ninety we... Day Fiance, and that's all it is. Shauna Ray, Shauna <laughs> Ray is like definitely some extra never PDF file. Who watches that? Like I'm just saying, like who? Yeah, I don't know. Duh. We were watching a bunch of Ninety Day Fiance. Oh, I love Ninety Day Fiance. Ninety Day Fiance, and um. Love at the lockdown. Love it. <laughs> yeah. We love, love that. at the lockdown, my shit. 90 Day Fiance. I love I love 90 Day Fiance, but I actually love the tell alls. Oh yeah, those are they be when having talking <laughs> shit at the end of it. <laughs> when they be having the old motherfuckers from back in the day, they come through and do all that shit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Don't get me in my whole shit. I'm 41 years old. I'm sorry. That's why I'm playing Parawa Simulator. Yeah, no, I need to look that up. No, you I'm were, getting I, I hot think, shots is getting hard. I'm, I think you. It really is. I getting think hard. you. Um, as um, you know, <laughs> my, um, that's I, not I mean, a Rottweiler. I fuck with you, William. You my nigga, man. Let me tell you something. Not too long ago, um, I went. I was on Rogan. Yeah, and it's the whole clip when it was like, um, I'm just like, um, I said Brandon Shop didn't have good style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But you know, you are you one of the freshest comedians I know. You got to see, look. And well, they don't be so understanding. Sweet. Yeah, I was saying I got this shirt from Cyber Monday. This is Lands in Cyber they don't Monday. don't be understanding fashion. Like, I understand this fashion <laughs> shit. And I do this. And I be telling these niggas, like, comedians are, like, the worst dressed motherfuckers. <laughs> and that's cool. They can be that because they funny. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? So, because a motherfucker can't roast you for dressing bad. You you funny. You can roast a motherfucker back about their whole life. And you could do some extra shit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not other niggas that understand. And I don't even think why I would, like, other comedians would probably see this and be like, damn, he would say William Montgomery is the freshest nigga. I'm buying all this Gucci and this Balenciaga. <laughs> and I'm doing all this. Because, nigga, bro, you got to understand what you look good in and what, your, and what matches with your personality and what your swag is and what your life is. This nigga. I mean, I have to wear forest green. My mother told me that growing up. I'm not allowed to wear red. I cannot wear red. It's too much red going on, Danny. But I'm saying if you were, look. If this was a red turtleneck, it'd be a nightmare. It would. And yeah. the reason why I say you the freshest nigga when it comes to comedy shit, because you look like everything that you do. <laughs> like yeah. the way you sound, the way your jokes come across, the way your shit hit. You look, you look the way you sound. That's. At the end of the day, that's marketing. That's what rap music is. If you don't look the way you sound, you get what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. a lot of niggas don't get that shit. Like, I hate when a motherfucker like, bro, why is you wearing all this fucking extra um, high fashion designer shit and your jokes ain't no high fashion designer type jokes? You get what I'm saying? Right. That's what niggas got to know how to look with what they shit is. So that's what I said. Yeah. I feel bad about that because I don't want fucking Brendan Schaub trying to put me in no alma plata. <clears throat> You know Put you in a what? Is that a move? Yeah, some juju. He, I seen it. He followed me on Instagram after that shit. I'm like, oh shit. Uh -oh. I had to follow him back, but he ain't he ain't say nothing though. But think, he's gonna try to, <laughs> think he's gonna try to come after your ass? No, I don't. 
Would you for, be ready for, for saying him? you're not good at wearing clothes? That's the worst shit ever. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> niggas die by that shit every day. Yeah, in the streets. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? But uh, no, at the end of the day, it's more of so of. Um, I get what it is. I mean, he's just more of like a, like the type of motherfucker that look at hype beats and about shit. That's what Grant actually does a lot of. No, he yeah. don't. He goes on Unilad. Yeah, he goes on a lot of this stuff, yeah. like uh, college, like. But college no, I'm humor saying I can help stuff. you, man. Yeah. I'm really want to. I really want to. If I can do, if motherfuckers want to help me, these niggas let me transition and get me into this shit. I can help y'all niggas look better. Yeah, I know what it is, man. You don't need my help, nigga. You good? We on uh, the same but, level. We good. Look, Casey's you got the, doing good the over there. Down. Look, Casey's he won the funniest exam. guy in Austin competition. Check out those guys. Hold on. Come on now. Oh, sorry, dude. Muscles. Oh, hold on. Oh. Hold on. Sorry, dude. Freaking ghost meter. Come on now. No, you oh didn't Oh, my get gosh. One. You, know you brought, brought an EVP meter. meter? You know I've been sitting on this ghost meter for 45 minutes waiting to show you guys the freaking damn... Are you kidding? How haunted is this place? Whoa. This place? Not that haunted. You guys are good. <laughs> Casey, Erica, I Erica, did... Not so sure. <laughs> oh, honestly. No. You got this off Amazon? Yeah, $25. That's an EVP meter. That I'm about to start that, making these bitches. What EVP meters? It's I mean, a how very. You tell me if it don't work? All you gotta do is make, bro. I figured out so many different scams you can do. This is definitely one of them. We're gonna have to put that on Grant later. No, that's an EVP yeah. meter. That uh, that's a ghost. It is a high tech kind of ghost. Does machine. it take batteries? The technology's there. Yeah, the technology. Does it, it take, take batteries? It takes batteries, but it takes the fancy <laughs> batteries. Yeah, it's fancy batteries. <laughs> it has like seven volt batteries. So it's the cool so, ones. Uh, all right, man. I don't want to hear this shit, man. Yeah, it's very scientific. You can Bro, see. Stop we actually this. went on a ghost tour one time. We went on a ghost Austin tour. Austin ghost tour. Danny, you I do ghost? not recommend it. You want to? It meet was ghost? fun, but the guy was weird. You want to meet ghosts? Ghost, drink liquor. If Trick you're... liquor. I have seen a couple of ghosts. No, I've heard enter, ghosts. that's when they enter your body. That's why they call spirits. Mm. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, ho, yo. Ho. See, that's why I, sometimes I get drunk and shit because I be like, man, it's because the only motherfucker can utilize your fucking yo 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 shit is like motherfuckers that fuck with you. So be like old school, like my grand my great granddad. Sometimes like, man, what this nigga gonna do? Let me let me let this nigga come out in the street. Sometimes man, yeah. let me let me let him have a good time. Yeah. I get drunk and say, oh that nigga come out, he be fooling. Like, oh. <laughs> Cause that nigga don't get to get out a lot. You get what I'm yeah. saying? So one time you you let him use your shell, you're like fuck it, I'm gonna get drunk. Bring the spirits of my great granddad. This nigga come out. He grabbing bitches on the ass like nigga. Ain't yeah, not yeah. no more. You go to jail, people. You go to jail for the shit you 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 you, you doing. You get what I'm saying? Back in them yeah. days, you could do that, man. We can't do that shit. So yeah, that's what be happening, man. I, I be getting the spirits of my old ancestors every time I get drunk. Yeah, I would be drinking, Only thing doing is cocaine, about it. and sp- the spirits would come out. Only thing about it is you can't pick what spirit come. It's random. Mm-hmm. So or I might some get an spirits auntie. better than others that are cut that come out. I might get an auntie. I get an uncle. I get a cousin. Um, huh? that'd be cool if Jake ever came. No, I told you my great granddad is the because <laughs> uh, he gon' he gon' fuck. He gonna get yeah. him some pussy for the night <laughs> over with. Everybody else, man, they just <laughs> they be bullshitting when they when I yeah. when I when I let them utilize the shell, they be bullshitting, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm like y'all niggas got to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> No, I totally hear you. Well, I I don't know. Maybe a golden tea game could be good for a present. I don't know. I have to figure out something for to... my girl. Yeah, she would she like play that. that? Do you think she, is she into games at all or not at all? Um, no, fuck no. My girl hates video games. Does she watch you play like the power fuck washing no. thing? No, she hates she hates all that shit. What about the cat simulator where you can be a cat? I didn't play the cat simulator <laughs> because I used to own a lot of cats. Now I'm not a cat guy no more. I got dogs. And it just made me feel sad that I don't got my cats no more, so I didn't play cat. Games. Wait, so your dog though, you love your the dog is sweet that you have now. What? Ditto? Ditto is my life. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God. Ditto is I never met an animal like this ever in my life, bro. I never met. I swear to God. Is I Ditto a boy or girl? Grant, a girl. It looks it's nothing girl. like that. Oh, um, you got her Instagram. Pull her Instagram up. Ditto do. She's a sweet hairless chihuahua and she's real. She got cute. TikTok too. She got a tattoo. She's a little bit of hair. <laughs> That's she sweet. got a mohawk. Mohawk. <laughs> oh, a mohawk? Yeah. And she's really cute. She's cute, but... But she's so you six don't... months old. So you don't think she would like a friend? No, Maybe that's all thing. she wants. That's all she wants. 
That's not. I'm, I'm I'm getting it. Sort of. It's just another hairless one. Ooh, no, that's, that's the one. With, scary. I, I know with the tongue that hang out. That's what I like. <laughs> Me too. I love those. <laughs> I don't know if that dog should be in the sunlight. Like, I don't know, red. but yeah, but yeah, there I remember. Better um, be sunscreen on that dog. I mean, really, God there better be like. sunscreen on that dog. I mean, when I get a bigger house, I'm gonna get a. Um, I'm gonna get a bigger dog. You know, but for right now, this, I mean, Chihuahuas is what I'm rocking with. I mean, that's my girl. My girl is a Chihuahua lady. One point in time yeah. in her life, she had like five or some shit. My dream dog, a little applehead Chihuahua. All of them getting old now. Like, Ditto was just the newest one. Like, right now, we got Samson. He holding it down. <laughs> Where's Samson? All, where's he? Samson, he at the crib. He chilling. He holding it down. We had to stop sleeping in the bed with that nigga, man. <laughs> well, how come? <laughs> Samson, man, he, I mean, he lived a, he lived a, he lived a sad life, man. He got jumped on at some, by, by, by some German shepherds at the, at the dog park. Ugh. That nigga was on his deathbed. He had a shit bag and some more shit. But he done made it out. Did he die? He died, but he made it back. Yeah. So he got PTSD. So anytime Damn. niggas get too close to him, man, this is, you know, he don't really fuck around, man. But Samson loved me, man. You know, I take care of him. Yeah. What's this, man? What is this screen? Yeah, saying? what is... <laughs> Grant, how do on. I spell did do D-I-T-T-O. Ditto deuce. Ditto I know I know D- it's D- 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 Ditto do I know, man. I, I'm sorry. I talk fucked up. D-I-T-T-O. Ditto. Like the Pokemon. Picturing Grant like, like they're trying to spell did a do for the last five Ditto minutes. Like, like, ghost. <laughs> yeah, it took D-I- a while for you to say that. I know. D I T T O D E U C E. Ditto Deuce. D E O. Ditto Deuce. Grant, what is That's going why he on? Laughed, he like, this I'm totally getting to spell it. Some crazy <laughs> shit. I'm getting there. <laughs> This has Give never happened before, Grant. And look, why am I going through this just to show this nigga my dog? Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Grant's the one who wanted to see it. I'm talking weird. to you. Like, <laughs> I know you don't give a fuck. Like, what the fuck? Why am I? Why are we wasting time with this? But no, I will show you. Why? Yeah, no, because you keep talking about buying her another dog. Fuck out of here. So you don't. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not know. buying no another. Bro, you buy. Okay. Bro, you get one of these dogs and you come talk to me. Yeah, can y'all, what's a dog? We can y'all have a pet? A dog. Can y'all have a pet in y'all living situations? Yeah. Yeah, so get one. I'll <laughs> you all, matter of fact, they just, matter of fact, she showed me one yesterday. They got one. It's cute. What? I don't know. I'm she scared. Was, Do you listen? Eric, I'm scared listen, that an animal would survive. Let me try to tell you how crazy she is. Her showing me was only me to be like, ooh. If her showing me, if I would have turned <laughs> up and been like, oh, yes, a little. We would have been copping. Really? And another fucking dog. These dogs cost 3500 Oh, my gosh. What, like that one that we saw that hopefully had some sort of T-shirt they put on it yeah. immediately after the hairless ones? Bro, we put her in obedience school. Mm-hmm. She came out more gangster than she went in. Oof. It was almost like a motherfucker <laughs> went to jail, and they met all the criminals. <laughs> And they was around them motherfuckers <laughs> on, the, on the streets, and they was like, man, boom. And I went and picked her up early. Her belly button was pierced. Her she had tattoos and she ain't been the same since. Yeah, she Definitely came back. Like for the better back. or worse? For the way for the worse. Ugh. Now it's like, I mean, before when we first got Ditto, she was really bad, and then it's like as she um really figured out what's going on in her life, she yeah. kind of like lightened up. But then when we put her in that obedience school and we was going, wise. what happened was I went to Europe. I went to Europe to do some shows. My girl, at me going to Europe, she just like, fuck, I'm, I'm going to do something. Uh, so she yeah. planned some trip to Mexico and went, no, I ain't going to say that. She had this trip planned to Mexico for years. For at least, <laughs> not years. For the record. It but was, for like a year. Yeah. But it just ended up so happen that I ended up having to fucking go play some fucking Europe shows around the same time that she had to go to Mexico. So it was like, fuck it. So he's like, damn, what are we going to do with the dog? We got to figure out something. So he's like, fuck it, put her in obedience school. school. Mm-hmm. This might, it might be a win. She might come back and learn some shit. Nah, fuck that. And I, um, Take so- him to people's <laughs> court. We watch people's court all the time. Take him to the Judge Millian. O- <laughs> Judge Millian. You got me high. I'm thinking you're talking about the old, I watch the old school people's court. I know. I've never seen the original guy. Do you not? Do you like with Judge Wapner? Wapner? With Judge Yeah, Judge Wapner. Wapner. 
Is that what they would say? <laughs> <laughs> is that what they would say? that is one commercial. They'd be like, watch people court with judge. What no? Oh, that sounds- oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, yeah I never. Like, it definitely like five black ladies <laughs> hitting background songs. Come on, man! Oh, right. yeah, I highly recommend uh, Judge Marilyn Millian. She's wonderful. Do you ever watch that? They're all on YouTube, bro. I'm you can not- watch every single one on YouTube. As a black man, I don't watch no fucking uh, court show. You don't watch people's court. <laughs> bro, I'm like, I'm talking shit. That just sounds like something cool to say. But I will tell you, you know what I do watch. See, uh, there go Ditto. See, there go my look. Look at oh my, my lovely God, lady. I found it. <laughs> look at my lovely lady. Look at that. Love see, there I go right there. We could see us. We was hugged up at, um, it was in Denver at the, um, what's that? I don't know. Whatever. Meow Wolf. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. Beautiful dog. I love. Oh, that's Samson right there, the white dog. That one? Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, I love, I love little chihuahuas. Oh, I was picturing Samson being like some big dog chihuahuas when he said the only. Bit, when the oh, no. things got him. I was picturing you know, a big dog. Oh, it's a small dog. No, they fucked him up. Oh. So, he yeah, he got these problems, man. He not <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. But, they, see, that's the thing, too, about <laughs> no. Samson. That's the thing, too, about Samson. I think um, what happened with Samson yeah. was my girl never intended on having Samson. Yeah. The people that got Samson, once he got fucked up in that situation, they was like, man, we don't care about Samson. I'm like, we don't want this nigga. So my girl felt bad about that, and she took Samson in. Cool. So Samson was always a take-in dog to her. She didn't really care about Samson, you know, whatever. Yeah. She had, don't, don't let don't Samson say, hear this. Don't let her hear this. <laughs> yeah. Don't. But, uh, <laughs> but look at me. There go me being a real nigga. There you are. See, there we go. Me and my lady Look at that right cowboy there. hat. I like the cowboy hat picture. That's a fun picture. She just finesse <laughs> So, yeah. So, um... See, there goes Samson. Dog got mail. Oh, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm saying cool. that just dog to say that. So cute. Dog got this nigga mail. talking about getting a dog. Ain't nobody getting <laughs> no more dogs, man. Okay. I thought Samson was some big dog. No, when, when we get a big enough house to have a big dog, we don't even got a situation like that. I mean, there goes yeah. Juno. Rest in peace, Juno. Aw. Where's Juno? That was up. Go a little up a little more right there. The, the little old one. The old one. He has yeah, gray hair. Juno. He Juno. was old. You can tell. She was old. She, she was old. Yeah. Juno was like 100 years old. <laughs> In dog years? She was a zombie. She, my girl put the bin. <laughs> For real, my girl supposed to bin put Juno down, man. My girl just couldn't do it, man. We, I'm, I've, I've been, everybody knew it. We living with Juno, man. Juno, Juno, like, she was so mad. Like, nigga, just kill me, nigga. <laughs> How long? <laughs> Juno's like 110. Oh, man. For real, we was getting close because we was like, what's the oldest chihuahua in the world? Juno was getting close to it. Dang. For real, we was about to break the record. We love it. How Juno, are y'all keeping Juno alive? And listen, Just... no, we put Juno down. Only why, why, only reason why we put Juno down, she didn't want to say, but um, we had got Ditto because she knew it was, it was coming to the times. You know, that's what yeah. people do when the pet, but, you know, get a new yeah. one, too, you know, that can hold it down. But Juno, I mean, once we got Ditto, Ditto came through. Ditto just started whipping Juno ass every day. She was just like, "Wanted Juno out of there, bro!" Throwing her off the couch, like, "Look, that <laughs> look, that little dog right there in the middle, in the middle. That's just how that's how Ditto was when she came. She was whooping Juno ass. Looks like she has an earring and a mohawk, right. and you couldn't leave Ditto and Juno oh. alone. <laughs> you couldn't so leave them alone. Like you'll leave them alone for like five minutes. You come back, man." Ditto on top of Juno, fucking her up. Like, and Juno, yeah. 100 years old. She's seven, she like <laughs> seven yeah, she's days. She's 110. She's like seven days, ones. fucking up a 100 year old. Look, so color, she see, look, Juno look like, look. Yeah. Zombie dog. Zombie dog. I Rest in peace, Juno. No, the fucked up part is that <laughs> it was the saddest shit, man, when they came through and put Juno down. Cause it was yeah. like, man, bro, we got, you know, I got a nice backyard. It's like we gotta put the white sheet. It was almost some cold shit they going do down. It, but they do it in your backyard. Yeah, but, but she the bitch came through. <laughs> yeah. Put this put the sheet down, like where Juno at? Bring Juno up. I yeah. went, I was like, you know what? I ain't got nothing to do with this shit. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm going in my room. I'm playing NBA 2K. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna play with the Carl Malone. I'm gonna watch Ditto. Guy. I'm gonna watch Ditto and Samson. Cause I don't want them, you know. I don't want them to know what's going on. Kind of oh, I don't you make go. them. But uh, my girl, her daughter came through, you know, just, you know, see Juno last time. So then they put Juno. But then my girl, my girl daughter came in and she was like, yo, y'all don't want to see Juno one more time. And when she opened the door up, the dogs ran out. <laughs> yeah. When they run out, this like, bitch when putting she's the, literally about to. This bitch putting the needle in her, the dogs run out. They see that shit. They stop like, oh, what's going on? 
This shit getting real in the streets. What horrible timing. <laughs> Bro, they run back in, they fuck, they traumatize. Yeah. Now next thing you know, Juno get wrapped up in the sheets. Yeah, <laughs> she ain't coming back to the she streets. She ain't coming back to the streets. In the street. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. don't see her no more. So like, damn, what you know go? So then these dogs, they look at my girl like, hold up, man. Yeah, what what yeah. you got going on in this motherfucker, man? <laughs> so then they was pissed off. So I was like, man, this shit getting too deep for me. I got to take mushrooms. <laughs> So I eat a shit ton of mushrooms. Be careful day. eating the mushrooms. Do you have fun no, doing that? Sometimes it scares me. I feel like mushrooms is triggering. Yeah, that can be scary. I, like I would not be able to be playing hot mushrooms shots. Mushrooms make right me want to do other things. Mm-hmm. From streets to sheets. <laughs> so yeah, um, Danny. Brutal. Danny, here we got you uh, some Haribo Gold Bears Christmas, Christmas edition. Yeah. Oh damn! You ever mess with us? I mean, this is like shout out to. Uh, all my UK niggas. They like I mean? Haribo? Haribo. Yeah, that's what that's this they snack. This is oh. their thing. Um we they love eat it them. for like meals and but stuff. But a holiday, um Yeah. Uh, I mean I'm definitely about to, I'm gonna smash these, but what's the difference what's, what's the holiday? Um so just, I think it's great oh, it's apple. Raspberry strawberries. Right. Yeah, raspberry strawberry. Right. Raspberry mm-hmm. strawberry. That's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, well that's a good combination. I thought the one was maybe apple or something. I'm not feel better than bring y'all a gift. Oh, it's no. totally fine. We have all the gifts we need. Right. Yeah, I can't. Oh, whoa! No. Wait, hold on. It was going yeah. off. Well, now I seem now it seems to have calmed down a bit. That has, oh. I think you raising your voice scared the spirit. Oh. <laughs> it was going haywire, it looked like at the beginning. We're all clear in this room. Okay. Good. <sighs> cool. Well, Danny, thank you so much uh for right. being on. How long we go? We done already? We did an hour. Oh. Yeah, thank you so much for being on the show today, Danny. Thank you so much for having me, man. You yeah. Got um, anytime the door is open at the, um, Danny's, whatever the fuck. <laughs> cool, yeah, we need to come. I want to come no, meet we, the dog. No. Oh, no. We need oh, y'all, barbecue. Oh, no. Y'all got to come to the crib. Uh, I actually just bought some ribs. Um, Ooh. What y'all doing this weekend? He's going to be Nothing. opening for yeah. Tony. See, I know. Where at? Where y'all going? Arlington. Oh shit. Outside of Dallas. Right. Fuck man, I gotta pull I'm one man. I'm gonna have to go with John niggas one one weekend, man. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. yeah. And you gotta work on your five minutes. Uh-oh, it's coming you... together. It's coming yeah, together. Yeah. But no, I'll do I do. I'm gonna have to start getting up the house, man, on weekends sometime and I'm going crazy. Yeah. 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 I hear you. Yeah, I mean, I can totally when I'm be playing, playing my hot shots. I swear to God, or playing something too light. I'm like, oh, no. God. All right, <laughs> don't even fuck that. Don't even fuck uh, with. Oh. Since you got PS5, I, oh. I forgot to cut my nigga. Get the uh, firefighter simulator, Grant. Okay, Grant. Yeah. Grant. Grant's cut the cord. All right, now. All right, all right. We out. We out. <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for being on the show, Danny. All right, thank nice you to so see much. you. Bye. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737 471 1098. Never miss an episode of The William Montgomery Show by subscribing to The William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas every Monday night. For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at ibretmypants. This episode of the William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh. Who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.